Hello and welcome to another video by Elios Design Studio. My name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn an ordinary photo like this into a watercolour canvas like this. To do this we're going to be using software called GIMP which is basically Photoshop but this is open source so it's completely free. First if you head over to the website just type in gimp.org and then download the file and install that onto your computer. Once installed, load it up, and this is the main screen. So first we're gonna pick an image. So if you go to File, Open, and then choose the image that you wanna use. I'm going to be using this image. This is just one I got from Unsplash. If you do want um, a site where you can get um, free images, then go to Unsplash. You can find um, anything on here really. Um, just type it into the search bar and, um, and then download it. Okay, once you have chosen your image, we're going to go over to the layer section. So on the right hand side, this is where all of the layers are gonna be. We only have one layer at the moment, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna double click in that layer and we're gonna call that one base because this is going to be our base layer. Next, we're going to press Control, Shift, and D, that's for Delta, while this layer is selected so that we can copy the layer. Once that's copied, this is the um, copied layer, we're going to double click in that, and we're going to call that one Enhance. And then we're going to move this to the top layer. So make sure Enhance is selected, and there's some arrows down here, we're gonna go with the up arrow, and we're just gonna move it to the top. We're now going to go to the top toolbar and we're going to find filters and we're going to go to enhance and then we're going to go to sharpen in brackets and sharp mask. Click that. I'm basically going to change the radius. So I'm going to increase the radius and as you move the slider, make sure this box for the preview is selected so that you can see um, that as you move the slider, see the enhance. So you can choose yeah, how much you want to enhance your image I'm going to do it quite high just so it really stands out. So it's going to be around 15, so it's really enhanced. Once that's done, just press OK. We're now going to go to our base layer. Just click, left click onto the base layer, and we're going to go Control, Shift, and D again. And the layer will be copied. It should say Base Copy. We're going to double click in there, and we're going to call this Lines, because this is going to be our Lines layer, which are really going to bring out the lines in the image but we need to move this to the top. So we're going to make sure lines selected and then just press the up arrow to move it to the top layer. We're now going to go over to filters and we're going to go down to edge detect, just hover over it. And then we're going to go to neon. We're going to change the radius to free. So make sure free is there. And then the intensity is gonna be 0.06. Once you've changed that, press okay. We're now going to go over to colors and we're going to go to invert colors again to desaturate. Just hover over desaturate and then go to desaturate again. And then just click OK. You don't need to change anything there. And then colors for the last time, brightness and contrast. And we're going to change this to the brightness as minus 10 and the contrast to 40. So change that. Once you've done that, press OK. Next, we're going to go over to the mode on the right hand side, which is above the layers section. So at the moment, it currently says normal. We're going to click that left click and then we're going to change that to multiply. And now we just need to add one more layer. So we're going to click left click on enhance and then we're going to go control shift and D again to copy that layer. Once copied, double click on enhance copy and we're going to call this one brushes as this is going to be our brushes layer. Finally, we're going to change the mode, so click on the mode, and we're going to go to Dodge. So find Dodge, click that, and select that. Now make sure your color is set to black, make sure black is on the foreground, and we're going to choose a brush. So just click the brush, the paintbrush tool, and then we're going to make sure we have acrylic 01. So if it's not displaying, then just double click in here and type in ACR, and it should pop up, and choose acrylic 01. We're going to change the size, so it depends on your image. So for this image, I'm going to have it about that size, so just over 800, and I'm gonna have the opacity down to about 10. So when you've selected your brush, we're going to make sure that track direction is on a dynamic. So click into this button, 
and then choose track direction it should be towards the bottom and that way every time you move the brush the brush will actually move and every time you click it will also do that so it gives a different um, brush stroke every time so now we're just going to start clicking in here just painting over here focusing on the couple to begin with and then going out a bit just doing it just to create a little bit of color what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a different brush so I'm going to type in texture and it's going to be texture hose free I'm going to change the size up to about probably about 600 roughly and I'm going to change the opacity up to about 50% and now I'm going to again click into where the couple are in the middle and kind of go out a little bit change the opacity down blend it in a bit more go around the edges like so Okay, now I'm going to go over to the layers and we're going to right click on any layer, doesn't matter which one, find merge visible layers, second from bottom, click that, then click merge and that will put all the layers together. So what we're going to do now is basically remove some of the outside and then we're going to put a kind of like a watercolour background um, behind it. So to do that we're basically just going to use the eraser, so select the eraser and we're going to put the opacity up to 100 change that down just so it's around that size now we're just going to add a background so that it is um, white when we when we rub out and now we're just going to add a background a white background so down the bottom right here there's a little icon far on the left create a new layer we're going to click that we're going to just call this background and we're going to have this as white so as you can see white is currently set as a background color so that will turn it white we're going to make sure that's selected and we're going to just move that down so it comes underneath now go back over to base click on that and now make sure the eraser is highlighted now we're just going to go around the edge and we're just going to rub out some of the edge just go around like that and do that until you've gone all the way like so and just do that until you've got a nice white border with some paintbrush strokes on there so it blends in let's finish off the bottom bit here Okay now, so we're going to put a watercolour background on here, now if you go to the description in the video there is a link um, where you can download this image, you'll probably be able to find one online, if you want to use the same one as me click on the link in the description and it will take you through to my site where you can download this for free. Once you've downloaded this to your laptop or computer we're going to go onto file and we're going to go onto open as layers and we're going to find that file. Once you've selected the file and clicked OK, then it will display as a layer um, called probably watercolour background. It won't be the same size as your actual photo, so we're just going to make sure it fits exactly. So if you right click on that layer, make sure it stays as a top layer. If it hasn't come on as a top layer, then press it and then move it up to the top. So right click, scale, and then we can see this uh, canvas is 2400 by 3600 so we're going to uncheck that just so it doesn't change automatically the width is going to be 2400 click into this and that's going to be 3600 and then press scale and that will scale it to the exact same size as our image next we're going to make sure again this is clicked on the watercolor background we're going to go to mode and we're going to multiply now as you can see that background is behind the actual image that we just created and now you've got this nice kind of painting effect uh, to 
your photograph. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learnt something and I hope you managed to really change a photograph into a really nice painting. Please feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section, let me know how you got on. If you liked the video, please like it. If you didn't, then again, dislike it and let me know exactly why so that I can improve my future videos. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do, and then you'll be notified of similar designs um, in the near future. So I hope to see you in the next video. And again, thank you for watching.